How's it going everybody? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number six in my introduction to Python series. In this video we're just going to be focusing on running uh, Python files which uh, have the .py extension. So up until this point in this series all of the uh, tutorials have involved us typing in Python and then from there executing Python commands. But that means every time you reboot PowerShell, you have to type in uh, the same code over and over. And obviously, it's not what you're going to do if you're making a big program. You're not going to retype the whole program every time. So that is where uh, running files comes in. Create a file. You can run it from the command line. And yeah, just obviously a lot better than uh, typing out all the code. So. Start by clicking New File, File, Save As, and um, just navigate to wherever you want to save it. Uh, well, I already have the a program by this name, but um, what I want you to do is create a file called Hello World .py. Click Save, and this is going to be where we write all our code. This is going to be the file that we run in uh, PowerShell. Now, if you've ever taken a programming course before in high school or university, or if you've ever read a book on programming, the first program they always make you do is a Hello World program, which basically displays or prints out uh, the words Hello World. So, we're going to do that. So, print, and then in quotation marks, just put Hello World. Alright, so save the file. Now we're going to go over to uh, PowerShell. And I'm going to exit out of Python. You don't have to be in Python to do this. You do it right from the command line. So type in Python as normal. But then next, you uh, type in the name of the file. Now, one thing I should mention quickly uh, make sure you're in the folder where you save that file. So, I in the first video I spoke about navigating through uh, um, PowerShell, like how to navigate through folders and stuff. So uh, make sure you're in the right folder. And if you're not sure, type in ls. And here you go. There is our Python file. So now what we're going to do is type in Python. And you have to spell it the same way, capitals and all hello world.py and there it does what we want to print out hello world alright now or, uh, we'll add a little bit more to this program so uh, let's create a variable called name set that equal to raw underscore input And then we'll say, what is your name? And that's how we're going to get a, a person's name saved inside this Python file. So as long as the Pythons are running, as long as we don't overwrite it, whatever uh, the user types in here, that'll be stored to the name variable as long as this file is running. So now let's add a little bit more. So we'll do the, we'll do an age variable. I'm going to be a little bit lazy here and uh, copy the code except for say what is your age. Now if you'll remember from the video where I talked about getting user input, you um, get back a string from raw underscore input. So we're going to typecast that to an int. Alright. And we're going to just do some math, we're going to increment the age by 1, and now we're going to display everything. So print, we're going to print out a name, oops, you don't need the quotation marks, I'm not sure why I put one there. Print name plus, and now since this is going to be an integer, we have to type that, cast that to a string. So now it should be um, the name and print out the age as well. And I'm just going to put 
a space in the middle between the two of them. All right. Should be good to go as long as I didn't make any errors. And if you didn't know this already, you can hit the up arrow key when you're in the command line to uh, go to the last line of uh, code that you, or the last command that you're in in uh, PowerShell. So I'm going to do that. Hit enter. What is your name? My name is Adam. How old are you? I am 19. And there, did exactly what we wanted it to. Printed out the, well, we got the name first, then the age, incremented the age by one, and then displayed it. Now, last thing I want to talk about is interaction mode. This will, you'll, you'll definitely see the purpose of this when we do the video on functions. Basically, interaction mode um, lets you interact with the file. So, you'll notice after the file's done writing, so after it reads and executes this last line of code, um, automatically get kicked out to the command prompt. So, you can't, if you had functions, you wouldn't be able to use them, you can't really manipulate anything else. So, to use interaction mode, it's the exact same thing, except for after Python, we're going to put minus i. And now when we hit enter, at first it's going to look the same, so 19, but now you'll notice we're still in Python, we're still inside the Python uh, program. So now we can manipulate some of the variables or uh, display them, so if I type in age, we get 20, age plus equals 1, Oops. and now if we look at age, it's 21. So that's interaction mode. It just allows you to uh, manipulate your program after it's been loaded. So that's all I want to talk about for this video. Remember to comment, like the video, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next tutorial.